Well, uh, I, I'm a very strong uh, opponent of of, uh, of euphemisms. Uh, sort of a disciple of Ray Okamura, who uh, initiated the war against euphemisms. But the problem with euphemism is euphemisms is that they're more than just simply grammatically incorrect. But they've had a very uh, profound effect on the course of our history. And uh, uh, so it's, it was a big mistake to uh, let the government get away with it. Uh, so I think the euphemisms were, that was, it was important to, uh, to get away from things like relocation center and uh, evacuations just, Every time I read the newspaper today and I hear people being evacuated because of this or that, I just sit there and just shake my head and I say, you know, that's, that's the proper use of that. It doesn't apply to us. You know, we were not evacuated. We were excluded and detained. And I insisted on exclusion and detention because I, they, are, they are both violations of the Constitution. A lot of people don't realize it, but people have to be free to move from place to place. And one, one of the ways this becomes real evident is in South Africa, in the South African Constitution, because people were, were not free to travel. The right to travel is stated explicitly in their new constitution, but it's implied implicitly in the United States Constitution. And, uh, and that's just as much a violation as imprisonment. And so by that standard, and every, every Japanese American uh, in America should be eligible for redress. And that, I think that's the way it should have been done legislatively. But I, I didn't, we didn't get involved in legislation.